here and talk about what's the new potential tropical cyclone and then we'll get into what's going on on radar in Louisiana right now. We do have some rain out there. This is again potential tropical cyclone nine that long wordy title now assigned to things before they develop into a depression or storm. So you can't quite call it that yet, but they're going to affect some of these Caribbean islands like I showed you with tropical storm warnings in effect there all the way to Puerto Rico. We have dry air though at the kind of northern end of this system. It's a long elongated kind of broad circulation here, so it has not tightened up into a fully structured organized system yet, but it looks like it might do so in the next day or so. So here we are with the forecast path again, taking it into kind of the northern fringe of the Caribbean Sea by Wednesday into Thursday. Then it may get close to the Bahamas and southern Florida, and here of course is where there's the spread. Many models are taking it off to the east, and I'll show you why in just a second, but there is still some uncertainty in this because it hasn't developed yet. We don't know how far west it is going to go before it starts its movement off to the northwest and eventually north. So let me just show you our computer models right now. They're in pretty good consensus over the next several days and note the curve here that actually most of them do have at this point. Again, it's early, but just kind of looking at the steering pattern that we might see by this weekend, here would be Tropical Storm Isaias or whatever it is at that point. We would have surface high pressure south of the Gulf Coast, and this is something that we've really been paying attention to and that kind of caught my eye really days ago is the trough of low pressure and this little kind of unusual cool front not actually bringing cold air, but this uh, general pattern. And over here, of course, we have the big high pressure area that's going to guide it to the west in the next couple of days. So as I put this in motion here, you can see what might happen by Sunday. Here's that trough of low pressure kind of over the central and eventually eastern US surface high pressure kind of blocking the Gulf perhaps. And then we may see that low pressure tropical storm kind of taking that path off along the east coast and also some high pressure kind of building in here maybe to direct it that way as well. So this is tentative, but I just kind of wanted to give you the rough idea very early in the game. Things will change, so it's kind of early to even talk about uh, exact patterns and so forth, but that's how it's looking right now. We will keep you updated with many more updates, of course, to come as this hasn't even developed yet. It's 90 degrees in New Orleans. Our temperature is mainly in the 80s, but we do have a few small showers and downpours developing. A good thing is that they are moving rather quickly and they are very scattered. So actually parts of the city around Lakeview City Park getting some downpours right now, but this is going to be quickly moving out farther south. We have some spotty and scattered showers and downpours and in Hancock County. That's actually our heaviest bit right now. We have a flash flood watch in effect through this evening for maybe another couple of inches of rain under some of these downpours this afternoon. We will have a decent chance for that in the next few hours. Notice our rain chances are going to continue and then probably go down by the evening and overnight tonight. Lows will be in the 70s with our rain chance about 30%. Quickly checking our model through 4 p.m., kind of the same scattered downpour activity. 9 p.m., most of this is wrapped up. And then tomorrow morning looks quiet to start the day, but we may have some more scattered downpours tomorrow afternoon too before we transition to that high pressure kind of setup that you saw there by Thursday and Friday. And our temperatures, of course, by that point will be going up too. Our rain chances this weekend look like 30 to 40%. And of course, more updates on the tropics will be coming.